Out of the hospital and talking about what happened, we've got some new information since first telling you about the arrest involving this man by Duncanville police. Fair warning, you might find some of the images you're about to see upsetting, but J.D. Miles reports tonight for you from Duncanville. After back surgery and six days in the hospital, Keandre Green headed home with his family. I'm in pain every day. I'm in pain right now as we speak. It hurts to talk. It's because of what happened in this neighborhood last Friday. The 21 year old says he was going on a daily run near his home when he had a violent encounter with police. I was jogging. I was taking a regular walk through my neighborhood of, as the headlines say, I had to go urinate. I found the nearest alley and uh, I handled my business. Duncanville police say someone witnessed that act and called 911. When officers caught up to Green, he was told he had committed indecent exposure and had an outstanding family violence warrant, which his attorney disputes. Police say Green started running away. The only thing I remember is them breaking my back. Like in that moment when they grabbed me from the front and I kind of folded like a flip phone, that's when my spine cracked. In a statement from earlier this week, Duncanville police admit officers punched Green in the face twice for refusing commands and for posing a threat, but the statement did not mention he was fighting back. We have a huge issue here. A young man had his spine crushed for jogging. The underlying offense was indecent exposure. Indecent exposure is a minor offense that shouldn't lead to a very brutalized response. Green's attorney produced a medical report which says his client suffered breaks or cracks in the front part of three spine bones between the upper and lower back. It's going to take probably like three months till I'm back functioning again. Police have said that Green will face an evading arrest charge. He went home today with a long recovery ahead. And thank God, um, you know, for a bit, we thought a 21 year old would be paralyzed. Green's attorney claims the Texas Rangers are now handling the investigation. Duncanville police have not returned our messages to confirm or deny that. In Duncanville tonight, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.